Breaking Bad El Camino is a new Netflix exclusive movie directed by Vince Gilligan, the creator of Breaking Bad, and its spin off show, Better Call Saul. Two shows that I love a lot. The movie follows Jesse Pinkman, a main character from the original series, directly after the series finale of Breaking Bad, and I do mean right after. <laughs> My thoughts on this movie are a little bit cynical, but still positive. I think that this movie did not need to be made at all. The series finale was a fine conclusion, and the ending of this movie isn't too far off from what we get with the ending of season 5. That being said, I don't think it's a shameless cash grab just to market off the success of Breaking Bad. Vince Gilligan is someone who genuinely seems to care about every project he takes on, and this movie looks outstanding. It looks like the opposite of what a lazy filmmaker would create. I am a little worried that he might end up being a one-trick pony but hopefully after Better Call Saul he can move on to something new. There's a long list of shots that I could mention just off of memory. Like for example, the one shot with the river in the opening scene. Man, didn't that look cool? It's just a river shot, but something about the angle, something about how the water looks. Vince Gilligan has come a very long way as a director. Breaking Bad had passable visuals most of the time, but then Better Call Saul actually managed to improve visually and I would say El Camino is another step forward. It is also a very well edited movie. It jumps back and forth between the present and the past, which can be a very hard thing to put together while still having decent pacing throughout your film, but every transition in the movie felt incredibly smooth and well done. So it looks great, but what about the rest of the film? Well again, it's not exactly necessary, but I still kinda love it. It's not necessary in the sense that it answers questions that did not need to be answered. It was just bonus content, but really great bonus content. I feel the same way about the Full Metal Alchemist movie. It's just a bunch of scenes showing what happened to one character after the series ended, and showing a few flashbacks that gives other characters an opportunity to make an appearance again. Part of the fun of watching this movie is just wondering who will show up again, as there were a lot of characters on the show. In one of the flashbacks, there's a really great attention to detail that I would love to go over, but... I need to keep the spoiler free for the sake of it being a school project, but I will be doing a podcast with Zach where I'll elaborate on this a little bit more. But yeah, a lot of these flashbacks really paid attention to the show's history. All of the performances are outstanding, especially from Aaron Paul and Jesse Plemons. There's a lot of good fan service to those who watch Breaking Bad, but it was never done to the point where it felt obnoxious. It looks amazing, the score fit the tone of each scene very well. I think my only other critique of this movie is there's this action scene near the end and it feels really forced in there. It feels like the only reason they did this was to add a more exciting scene into the movie, but honestly, El Camino didn't need anything like this. It was a slower film, and that's okay. This doesn't ruin the movie, but I think if they wanted to do a scene like this, it needed to be built up a little bit more. This really did just kind of feel like we need that really cool action climax scene. Otherwise, the fans won't be happy. That being said, I definitely feel the positives outweigh the negatives, and if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, I think that you'll probably get something out of this. It's a 7 out of 10 for me, and thanks for watching.